welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle. Um, I try to give an encouraging word when I can. Um, I'm all about positivity. I do try on hauls, I do unboxings, I just share life with you guys. So if that sounds good to you, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and hit that subscribe button. If you've been watching for a while and haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, it costs you nothing. Um, and those of you who are subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time out to watch my content and supporting me. So guys, I know it's been a few weeks, but you know, with the holiday season, it's been busy and everybody's, you know, doing their own thing. It's been very different. It's been, I just don't know how to explain it. It's just, you know, not the same. Hopefully next year it'll be better. So I'm going to try to post more often. I have a couple of try on hauls coming, just waiting. Shipping has been um a little slow with things especially like um lounge fly i have a lot of pre-orders that are coming in that i want to share with you guys as well but that brings me to today's video i want to show you my lounge fly collection so far um what i've collected um what i really loved um if you haven't seen my previous videos go back and check them out but i'm just going to show you my collection i have so far and um, I've only been collecting for a few months, but I've accumulated, I think, like 11 or 12 bags. Addicting, like they say, um, a lot of bags bring back childhood memories, nostalgic, happy memories. A lot of bags are just cute. A lot of bags, their bags are just really, um, how would I put it, good quality. They're cute. They're fun. They're backpacks, which I love. Um, their price point is... Um, not too bad. I mean, they range, they can range from 50, 60 to um, 100 usually. And then if they're not being made or you can't find them anymore, they don't bring them back out. They can go even higher than that. But stick around. Let's get into the bags that I do have. So guys, I think this was one of my first bags. This is the Winnie the Pooh balloons bag. Um, and it has all the characters on here from um, Winnie the Pooh and they're all balloon heads. I love the colors of this bag. It's very spring and summer. Um, it doesn't have side pockets, but it does have um, a cool inside print. It has the balloon heads in there and it has Old Bother on this side of the front pocket. Um, and the back, it's just the back. The straps are so soft, really nice. The bag is really pliable, but sturdy at the same time. It's gold hardware with the lounge fly. And it says, oh bother. It has an inside pocket. And I'm really loving this bag. Um, that's why it's not stuffed because I usually stuff them when I put them back up to hang them up um, on my wall. But um, this one I wear a lot. So that's the first one. And I believe I got this one the same time I got that one. So this is the Villains um, fire print one. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but it's an all over print. Um, it has this cute little poison apple zipper pull for the front pocket. Um, it doesn't have side pockets. This is the back. And the straps on these aren't as soft as the... Um, Winnie the Pooh one, but they're still nice. And this is a good structure and quality bag. Gold lounge fly hardware. And the inside, I love pink. If you've been watching my other videos, so it just has the villains in the pink print in the inside pocket. So that's the second bag, which I love. Sorry if I'm going through this a little fast, but I just want to get through the bags and don't want to take up a whole bunch of time. So, and then the third bag, of course, if you know me, I love Baby Yoda, um, Grogu, whatever you want to call him. I thought this was so cute. I added this little Star Wars um, little bag charm to it. And it already had a little frog charm to the front zipper pocket. Um, this is just, um, the care focuses on the character and this is, I like Star Wars, but he's my favorite. So and the back is plain. The straps are nice and soft and the inside print is tan and it just has, it has an inside pocket and it just has 
baby Grogu or Yoda just in different um, poses and scenes in his little carriage and, and with the little frogs in it. So I thought that was so cute. So that's my baby Yoda bag. And next, I loved this one when I seen it. So I had to have her. This is what I call crazy eye Cruella bag. This um, I usually wear, I wore around Halloween time. Um, I just love this. This is so cool um, with her hair just flapping out and her eyes are, they feel embroidered and they're actually like raised. And I love the little Dalmatian print here. It has a front pocket and this one does also has side pockets. And in the inside, this was so cool to me. It has her little angry mouth and her earrings dangling in there. I thought that was so cool. And this bag is so soft, like the leather or fake faux leather, whatever it is, it's just super soft. And it has the silver, um, sort of like um, antique hardware. This one, this one is stuffed. The inside, it has her and all her fabulousness. And it says Corella DeVille. So, I love this bag. That's my Cruella bag. And then this one, guys, I think I only wore this once, but this is also one of my favorite bags. Um, I love the movie. I love the meaning. I love the colors with the purple and the orange marigolds and the little guitar zipper pull on the front. I thought this was so cool. I added my own little skull charm. You know, I love skulls if you watched me. Um, so it has this little front zipper pocket, which you really can't get a lot into, but it has the gold hardware. And then the inside, that's what the inside looks like. It has the little guitars and the um, little skeletons and stuff on here. It's really cool. And I'm loving this, the top handle. And this is actually Pixar bag, Pixar Lounge Fly. I love that about it in the back. That's probably my favorite part. The little dog looking. I did see this doesn't have side pockets, but it is cute little self anyways. Okay. That's that one. So next, I believe I got this one. This is, of course, the Sanderson sisters. This is the Halloween bag. I loved how... You know, they were like, they had the big heads and faces and I didn't like the um, all over print that I saw, but I like this one. So, in this bag, it has little symbols and stuff all over it like that. I thought that was pretty cool and it feels really soft. And um, I just have a Bath and Body Works little beard charm around there. But the back, I loved this. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And it does have a um, front zipper pocket. It's just in back of Winifred's head over here. And it has the antique gold hardware. And the inside just has the sisters. Just little like caricatures of the sisters. And uh, Binks there. And Binks is actually here too. And you can actually pull them up and down. I thought that was cool. So this is this bag and this is actually yep this is a disney okay next bag is actually this bag i was looking all over for this bag and um this is actually a pixar bag i love this movie um soul um i love the meaning behind it i just added a little alien um charm to it just because it matched the colors but i just thought that was cute but um it does have side pockets and I love the piano and the little soles in the front. Um, the back doesn't have anything special, but um, you see this one's still together. I haven't worn this yet. I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but it has the top handle and the um, gold hardware and the inside just has little sayings and the little soles in here. 
and I just thought that was so cool. So cute. So that, that bag, this is like one of my favorites. I think probably, probably that one in my Grogu bag, um, the Coco one. I mean, I all, I picked them all for a reason and uh, I took my time, you know, figuring out which ones I wanted. So they all mean something. And then this one is Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty too. Um, this is one of the little Sanrio characters I just put as a bag charm, but it also has a little Hello Kitty, little strawberry milk zipper pull for the front pocket. It doesn't have side pockets. The backpack straps are soft and it has Hello Kitty back here saying something. And I just love the colors on here. And the inside just says Kawaii, Hello Kitty, a bunch of stuff in here. Tokyo. So, and this is actually a Sanrio, Sanrio bag. And I love that color of the placard there. So that one's cute. Okay, the next one is actually Edward Scissorhands. Oh, and I forgot to mention this is a um, summer convention limited um, edition bag too. That's also why I grabbed that one. And like this one, the next one, this is Edward Scissorhands. Um, I got it because it's nostalgic and I, I love the movie and it's a pop um, Comic-Con limited edition. So I haven't worn him yet, but for some reason, the, um, this is so like slippery, kind of the backpack straps and they kind of slid off the what they had on there holding them. On the back it says, hold me, I can't. And it does have side pockets. It has antique brass like um, lounge fly zippers and I just thought this was so cool because his hands actually can come they can button off and you can move them out of the way and move them around so that's cool and all this hardware up here and it does have the front zipper pull and it has Edward who's looking a little bit sad there Inside it has um, Edward Scissorhands and, and it just says pop. So that's what the inside looks like. I haven't worn this one yet, guys. Just waiting for the right time or if I even want to wear it. But I thought this one was different and uh, really cool. So that's why I got this one. And we have two more. Um, then I got this one. I was debating over this one, but I said, you know what? I want it. It's cute. It's my favorite color. So I got him. This is Lotso and his nose still smells like strawberries or cotton candy. Oh, but it just smells sweet. It smells like candy. And every time I go for this bag, I smell it. It just smells so good. And um, it has strawberry zipper pull. You can't really fit too much in here, but, and this is Pixar. He's so soft and fuzzy. I haven't worn him either, as you can tell. And I love the heart on the back. It says, you've got a play date with Destiny. That's so cute. And he's so cute looking. The ear flopping over. And it, it's gold hardware. Lounge fly. And the inside was just really cute to me too. It had lots of in the little pink hearts. This would be good for like a Valentine's Day bag. The weather's not rainy, of course, but I said, you know what? He's so cute. I'm going to get him. So that's Lotso. The last bag I got was Bugs Bunny. And I also got a little bag charm of Tweety Bird. Um, this is from the movie uh, Space Jam. And he has a cute little carrot zipper pull up here with the silver tone zippers. I just thought this was real cute. Who doesn't love bugs? And this is a Looney Tune lounge fly so soft and i love the back these are soft um backpack straps but it says what's up doc and he has this little tail and i didn't i was glad that it was just the tail on there because i didn't want like anything movable or flur furry or fluffy back there um but the inside has 
Bugs and Daffy. And I actually have the Daffy wallet to go to this as well. And it just goes so cute together. And I also have, when I reach 500 subscribers, um, go check that out. I gave a little sneak peek of what I'm giving away. So hopefully that'll be soon because I really want to give that away and do another giveaway. But we'll see how long that'll take. But it will be with Bugs. And I have um, a Daffy wallet and I have a pop with Sylvester and Tweety. So that's that'll be for the giveaway once I reach 500. But that's the last bag I got. So I'm waiting for a couple of pre-orders um, and I'll show you guys those when they come. Um, thank you so much for sticking around and um, I'm really blessed and really grateful to have these bags and I'm looking forward to my other bags coming in the next month or so. It's been a nightmare I know with the, um, the shipping and the boats and stuff and um, ports so I'm patient. We'll see. We'll see what happens and how long it takes. But I just wanted to leave you guys with, I guess, an encourage. You can say an encouraging word or whatever. Um, if someone's acting, you know, a little bit caring, like if you know, you know, um, giving off those vibes of just um, negativity or whatever, just try to ignore them. I know we're we're quick to come back and we're quick to to come at them and the best thing that i found is to just as long as they're not harming you or you know whatever words are just words you know to ignore them that makes them even more mad and infuriate so i figure hey let them be mad get mad let me go about my day and laugh about it afterwards so i had a little um experience with me and my older sister we went to the store and it was just like somebody was giving off those vibes and we just ignored them went about our day laughed about it and um let them you know be ignored and be mad and go about their day still being their miserable so so that's what people want to do they want to bring on their negativity to you and i'm not going for it i don't want anybody's negativity i got enough stuff going on in my life so so just you know keep your head up try to ignore those negative people negative vibes i know it's hard it's a lot going on um, out here these days, but um, stay positive, be encouraged, and be you as always because you're awesome. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.